Shakespeare's Sonnet 7 is a sonnet that is basically a sonnet about how, um, how much it sucks to get old. And it's, it compares um, you know, the, the sort of trajectory of your life to the sun rising, being high in the sky, and then setting. And, and, the, and the speaker basically says, you know, the sun's pretty glorious when it rises. And then it's really powerful. Everyone's in awe of the sun when it's at its height. But then when it goes down, everyone doesn't, doesn't give a monkeys about it anymore. This is my situation, David. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, but here's the cool thing. The last couplet is, so thou thyself outgoing in thy noon, unlooked on diest, unless thou hast a son. So what the speaker's saying is, um, you're, you're gonna be in the situation of that sun as it sets where no one cares about you. You're gonna be, you're gonna die unlooked on. People aren't gonna pay any attention to you unless you have a child, unless you have a son. This comes out of nowhere in the poem, right? There's nothing at all about love or marriage or procreation, nothing. Suddenly, the speaker's like, so anyway, you should have children. But specifically it, a son. Specifically a son. And I hope you see where I'm going with yes. this. Uh, it, it, on the one hand, it comes out of nowhere. But on the other hand, it doesn't feel like it comes out of nowhere. Why? Because we've been hearing the entire time about the son, S-U-N. And it makes the word son feel completely natural. Yeah. We're primed to ex sort of half expect the word S-O-N, son. Son. 